Hi guys, today I'm going to be going over how to write an annotated bibliography. Now the term annotated bibliography sounds way scarier than what it actually is. Basically, you are annotating what a source is, is it credible, and how will it serve you in your particular research or writing. So it's usually about 150 words. It's non-biased, so it's objective. You do not use first or second person, therefore you use third person point of view, which is he, she, they sort of language. And you are talking about how it serves you in your research. That's the main drive for the annotated bit. First step is doing an MLA citation of a source. So you can either use Noodle tools or you can use this tool on Google Docs. So what you're going to do is you're going to find a reliable source. I know this is a reliable source because it's from a college and it has it's backed up with real research, real experiments. And I'm going to go on Google Docs tools, citations, make sure it's MLA, add citation source, change the source type because the default is book and most likely you are not getting this information from a book. I'm going to change it to website because I found it from a website. Copy and paste URL, search, continue. Um, if you'd like to, you could cite everything manually, but um, it does it, everything for you. And then it also creates the in-text citation. So if you have any doubt that you're going to cite it incorrectly, go for that because it's right. And um, once you copy and paste it, it will not be double spaced. Please note the formatting of this. So typically we're used to having the first line indented and none of the other lines, but it's a complete opposite for annotated bibs. So the first line is the only line not indented. Every other line after that is going to be indented at 0.5. And it's a little finicky at first, but once you get it, you can honestly just copy and paste a source um, with the correct formatting and then put in the information for all the other sources. Note that the entire like bibliography part is also indented at the 0 0.5. So what should those 50 words have? I like to start with the credibility of the author. So if they're a researcher or a professor at a certain establishment, you're going to note that university explicitly. Also, if there's no author, you're going to talk about why is the website credible. That's normally found on the homepage or all the way at the bottom. You can also talk about why is the publisher credible. Anything. Um, if you cannot find um, either through a hyperlink or Google, or even if it's explicitly stated in the article, why or how the author or establishment is credible. That means it's not a credible source. Therefore, you have to find another source. A sentence two, three, and maybe even four should be an objective summary of the source. So objective means not biased, and you're not including your opinions so no first or second person, that's super important. Then you're gonna be talking about who is the intended audience? How does it compare? Or how is it different from other work that you have cited or researched on? And then something that may be easier than that is how will this source um, serve you in your research or whatever assignment was assigned to you? So here is an example. Please note that it's on a Google slide, so I couldn't double space it and fit it, and that the indentation right here is wrong. Like, I should have moved it to 0 0.5, um, and this should be double spaced. But see how I start off with the author, I explicitly state what establishment they teach at, um, how does it align with what the article is about, and then I talk about, you know, summarize what the content of the sources are stating. And then I talk about another study that I cited. And then I talk about how will it serve in my writing. And there will be many, many different examples of annotated bibliographies. But the big thing is that you have all the contents and how will it serve you? What's the relevance? 
and the indentation. Everything should be double spaced. I hope this helped.